Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is part of the Alti new uh, block hop as they are releasing a new build of flower and this month is the Stargazer and this is a lily actually and I really love this flower. This is one that it grows a lot in native Ecuador. It was a favorite of my grandmother so I had the chance to work with it and I loved it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, layer it and even though I'm just going to show you different colors for the ones I used, one of the reasons I'm going to show you is because it's so easy easy to layer and um also because i once i started layering i decided to change the colors what for my project so you're gonna see that one of the first things i do every time i get my build of flowers open to see the trifold a uh, pamphlet that comes with the stamp and just see the ideas that they come uh in the page in the pamphlet sorry and also to see the colors and i chose to i'm using right now um I believe it's re um, the Red Cosmos collection, no, sorry, set, and also the Spring Bouquet. But I changed my mind because I find them that are very orange and very pink. Um, they're a little bit different when I, I'm using just regular Bristol board to stamp my flowers on it. And the I wasn't too happy with the colors. It was just too bright for what I have in mind. So right now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp to show you how easy it is. And then I'm going to take it off camera and actually stamp. And I use for my flowers, I use... Uh, Mm, a rose petal and also uh, red cosmos just because I wanted those tone, those like soft uh, kind of peachy tones and also the red tones and I'm actually also going to use a little bit for the leaves I'm going to use um, frayed leaf and also a little bit of evergreen just because I wanted those tones in my pages so like I said very easy to layer if you follow the layering guide it's very easy it's actually based a lot on the tips of the flowers and it's very detailed you're gonna get the little dots inside of the petals you're gonna get the little pistils it has beautiful beautiful flower and like I said very easy to layer so again I'm gonna take it off camera and I actually took my time and did quite a few of them that I had left enough left over to create a card too so you're gonna see that like I said, I always look inside of the thing to give me an idea of the colors. And that's how I came up with the color combo that I'm going to use. And I went, like I said, uh, with um, Rose Petal, if I'm not mistaken, is Red Cosmos, the one that I use. But it's a soft peach and also a pink tone. So what I'm going to create is a layer from my Life Crafted album. And this album is from Citrus to Skits. And it's just a traveler's notebook with rings in the middle. So my idea is I want to create two clusters, a diagonal design. And I'm going to add the picture. It's a picture of my daughter and our baby. And they're always together. Honestly, uh, even though they can fight. And it's funny because I'm going to say it's a dog and a girl. But they can fight. But they're always together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I already cut my piece of paper to fit into the uh, my album. And the album, um, the pages, sorry. It's uh, the total layout is 10 inches by 8 and a quarter. So I've already cut in half and punch my holes and what I'm going to start by doing is adding a little bit of interest to the background and I'm using the broken chevron uh, stencil set one of the brushes and I'm going to use one of the grays from the rock collection I just want a soft gray and I think this is called moon rock and I just want a really soft background I want something that's just going to make everything stand out and kind of break the whiteness of the background if I can say so all I did is I'm just going to see that I put a little piece of washi tape just to hold the um, stencil in place and then i'm gonna go with my brush i'm picking up some of the ink and i'm going in a circular motion on top of the stencil just to create think of it of a little the little bottom triangle part of my page because i know that's where i'm gonna add the flowers in my picture i'm just making sure that i have enough of the uh, stencil look that it's peaks behind my picture and I'm going to do the same on the other side but this time I'm going to do the top left corner of the page just because that's where my flowers are going to sit and again I'm going to make sure that when I add my ink it actually it's enough that my flowers are going to sit on top of them and it's going to peak from underneath the flowers and that's what I wanted something soft but uh, but that it was going to bring some interest what the ink set was completely my next idea is how I'm going to create the title so if you see the set the set comes with a beautiful build of flower but there's a small cluster of flowers that also comes included in this stamp set so I'm going to use this to create um, my title and for this I actually cut a mask and I don't have masking paper so all I did is cut a an post-it notes I make sure that I use the post-it that has a lot of glue behind it so I just cut two of them in my little mini uh, 
blossom cutting machine and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of cardstock and I'm gonna use double cardstock for this and I'm gonna stamp I'm gonna use the mask to completely uh, stamp this little I'm think about it as a bookmark but I'm gonna cut my letters for my title from it so what I want to do is I want to create a stamp look think of a design um, piece of pattern paper black and white but in my case I'm just stamping the flowers that comes in the stamp set and you're gonna see that I move the mask just to make sure that when I stamp the flowers it fills the entire entire space without um, looking like a big mess so that would just it's gonna look like a continuous uh, set of flowers just stamped on a piece of paper instead of being overlapping and just having no definition this way there's going to be a definition to it once i have my entire bookmark uh, filled with the stamp set and i'm using black obsidian ink because this ink is amazing so i know it's already in restock at the shop make sure if you can afford it get one trust me you're gonna love it it's probably my to go ink so now that I have my entire uh, bookmark stamped, I'm going to go ahead and use the bold alpha. I have the lowercase and I'm going to cut the word U. And I cut it actually twice. You're going to see me cut it once here, but I actually cut it twice and glue the pieces together just to create a little bit of dimension, kind of a chipboard uh, look for it. And um. And I set it aside. And I'm, all I'm going to do is just put this page together. It's going to take no time. Like I said, remember, I added this stencil look because that's where I know everything is going to set. So I'm going to use just two flowers in each one of the clusters. They're big enough that it's going to cover my entire page and give enough um, the look that I'm looking for. So I'm just playing with, uh, I just, like I said, I'm just trying to think of the corners where I'm going to fill the flowers. And once I set them, I make sure that the first one goes, it's glued uh, with a glue dot onto the page. It's going to be a little bit of lift, but not lots. But on the second one, I'm actually going to use some foam dot, just um, not foam dot, yeah, some foam adhesive so that there's a little bit more of dimension and there's the different levels and there's the, the movement on the page. And then I'm just going to add some leaves just to bring... Um, movement also and just also to break uh, the flowers to give them some definition and just to complete the cluster once i have that in place you're gonna see that i'm actually gonna add a piece of vellum behind the picture just to break um gonna create a little bit of separation i'm gonna say break it but that's the way i'm gonna see it, to break it from the background so just create a little bit of separation without adding lots of um i don't want to make to stand out i just want to create a separation and for me vellum does that it doesn't mute the background it doesn't take away from it but it gives them that little something that just gives a the little um a soft um dimension that's the way i can explain it better so once i have that in place i'm actually gonna go ahead and start working on the other side of the page and again i'm just gonna again two flowers same thing the other thing you're gonna see is that on the bottom picture where i have um, the bottom the bottom corner where i have my picture the uh orangey or the coral flowers actually the ones that um kind of uh I'm going to say coming forward because it has the foam adhesive. I'm going to do the opposite on the other corner. So on the other corner, the orange flower is actually the one that's laying straight on the paper. And the pink one is the one that has the foam uh, behind it. Once I have that ready, it just gives me the perfect place to put my title. And I'm just going to glue the letters, say you. And I'm bringing the across the pond stamp set. There's a sentiment that says you are my favorite thing. And I think this is just probably one of my favorite pictures of them. So I'm just going to add that to my title. And I'm going to bring some simple embellishments. Just some stickers that I have in my stash that are a little bit of gold. I'm going to bring just simple sentences. And then I'm going to add my lines to journal right underneath the title. I think all I have left is I brought a few more um, stickers, a little bit more of gold, just to go with the, those warm tones that I have on the flowers. And that's about it. This was super fun to put together. Like I said, the flower is easy to layer. Um, take your time though, just to make sure that when you layer it, you can you know get it properly so you can see the pistils, the center of the flower. Uh, but I love how this turned out. The flowers look so real and I love them. Um, as always, if you have any questions on how this came together, the title, super nice i love i really love how this came out um as always if you have any questions or how this came together do not hesitate to contact me i would love to help you check the flower and if you can't uh, subscribe to the program that you get the flower for lower price every month at your doorstep a good program to follow thank you so much for joining me today and i hope to see you soon take care guys